I haven't got the... Hello, sorry, I haven't got the microphone on. Does help. <coughs> it does help. So good morning. Good morning, Diana. Good morning, Rosemary. Good morning, Linda. Hello, Louise. Don't worry. 24 of you already snuck in while I was Gosh. forgetting to turn the microphone on. Oh, Linda, it's a, it's apparently your follower anniversary. So happy anniversary. So you've been following us for a year. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. My mic's on. Hello. Sorry. Sorry about that. I'll just check you can hear me. Can I hear me? Can you hear me, Big Bubba? <laughs> My mic's on. Oh, there we go. There's a nice, de there's a nice delayed echo of me listening to myself. So good morning, morning, Roger. Oh dear me. You you know I've been doing this for eighteen months. You'd think I'd know how to work things, wouldn't you? But I don't. Hello, Christine. Good morning, Melanie. Morning, Sandra. Melanie, <laughs> happy anniversary. It's a follower anniversary for you as well. Hello, Elizabeth. Um, yeah, all, all of these anniversaries. And no, no cake. Sad. Right, 30 of you, welcome along. It's lovely to have you with me this morning live. And I've got Sue live in the corner. Well, almost. Yes, <laughs> Sue's present. I'm trying. <laughs> Physically present. So I thought we'd do a um, just a little a simple thing because only 45 minutes. Coloured pencils do take a lot longer to work with, um, and you do need a lot more colours. So it is worth getting sets of things. Now they're I'm ordinary pencils, th not pencils, these yeah them. these well they're not just ordinary pencils. Oh, well, they're special pencils. Uh, no, I can't have anything ordinary. These are the Caran d'Ache Luminance colouring pencils so they are the most or one of the most light fast pencils available because what a lot of people don't realise is that morning Mary oh hello from Croatia how lovely welcome it's your anniversary as well your follow anniversary you've been with us a year welcome um, and happy anniversary what's going on this day like last year that everybody suddenly I've no idea <laughs> who is it that what What did I do that was so special <laughs> that's always quite worrying um, so yeah most colouring pencils and watercolour pencils are not light fast. Okay. So they are known as fugitive, which means they will fade over time. Now, some of them might fade over 10 years. Some might fade over 10 minutes. It depends where they're hung. Um, but Caran d'Ache Luminance are, are the, the one of the first ranges out there that are light, proper light fast. So th they're high end if you know what i mean the ones have the special stand for them. yes we've got the special stand so they are expensive they are three pound 35 per pencil we don't sell sets good morning mandy we don't sell sets because the sets are really expensive but we've got the full range of a hundred colors mm -hmm. um and uh, they did start off with 74 and then they've rounded up to 100 with portrait colors mm. um I, i've got a mixture here i've got some yellows and oranges browns and a purple for some shadow this one isn't white this one is a blender um, and the Caran d'Ache luminance are not fully waxed they're a bit waxy um, colored pencils can have different feelings some are more waxy some more oily um, yes yeah um, so they're they're one of the best Derwent have done a light fast range now in competition um, and the Faber Castell Polychromos are fairly light fast but these luminance are the full light fast so we've got the full range in the shop we have got them available online to buy individually if I I did try to do my homework this morning and da -da -da -da, I can probably post a link to uh, online shop it's like clear wax okay. so it looks white mm. but it's not it's um it's just clear wax um it doesn't have to be this particular made you can't we do sell just blender pencils uh, but they always look white they're not white it is clear um so that's the um no, that's a blender pencil. they're all three pound 35 i think um so it is expensive any coloured pencils will work though to be honest but I just thought I'd show you this because you can use a blender with other coloured pencils yes yeah, yeah you can yeah um, you can um, you, th there are also um, 
we do bottles are, I'm, I'm not sure we've got any in at the minute we are struggling to get certain brands in at the moment um but there's colored pencil blender and it's liquid oh, right. and you can dip your brush in that and blend that way but i think it, that has to be more of a wax base so you've got watercolors or water-based blending so you can use water to blend to carry around, yes it, yeah oh yeah absolutely um and what happens to it as well is oh hang on let me press the right button here, um is that the the colored pencil it, it kind of moves mm -hmm. one color up into the next one usually the darker one it will try and push it around and, and lighten it a little bit so the way I work with coloured pencils, and I, I will say the way I work because I don't, I'm not an influencer in that kind of, well, 37 of you, welcome along, um, in that kind of sense, because I, I, there are lots of ways of doing things. This is my preferred way or a preferred teaching way. We do get people coming in the shop who have seen influences and then they believe that that is the only way. Um, influencers, I have to say, are genuinely paid. Mm -hmm. This is not a paid promotion by Karen Dash at all. This is because we spent nearly a thousand pounds on 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 a stand of them, um, and I want to sell them. Uh, no, no, no. It's the, they are the best pencils. They are one of the best pencils out there. But we have got the stand. Um, one of our lockdown treats with the government grant was to improve our pencil offering. So we bought the Graphwood drawing pencils, which are just heavenly and we purchased the stand of the Caran d'Ache um, luminance. How do you change that up 100 point value? That's that one, that's it is, and I, th I think you'd have to go with, I mean, I, I had a, a right game and I'd got, I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, no, do I need one of those? Do I need one of those? You can mix colors, but not in the same way as paint. So in the same way as soft pastels, you need a wider color range than you want. Mm -hmm. um, so and they've all got names um you know like um what's this one what's this one called golden bismuth yellow this one 820 um orange terracotta it's a good test for my eyesight natural russet russet or sanguine which is good for portraits. Burnt Sienna. Castle Earth. Seen what before, Diana? And Brown Violet. So they're the colours I'm going on to. Good, aren't they? So there's lots of different things that we'll do. So I will work with it like a watercolour in that I will start my lightest colours first and then gradually get darker. I don't want to go too dark and build up too many layers because sometimes that can be a bit of an issue. Um, the way I would sharpen these... Hey, Diane. Right, I'm connected. I'm back. You're back. You've got green square. Green square. We're good to go. So um, the paper I'm using... Thank you for that, Rosemary. Rosemary says the Karen Dash pencils are heavenly to use. As my other pencils run out, I'm replacing them with this range one at a time. You don't notice the price. I think that's a really good point to make. That because um, I got the set, and I mean some of them you don't use as much as the others. What in the in the drawing pencils? Yeah, yes. I'm going to have to replace the cover one. Yes. <laughs> well, that's the that's the most one. Yeah, yeah it is. Um, there's 42 of you watching. I don't know what the blip was. It was definitely. Um, a Facebook issue rather than a, a me issue. Um, the paper I'm using today is, um, we're out of stock, so I haven't got a link of it for you, um, is a cup cycled paper. And it's made from recycled paper cups. There's one factory in the UK that has worked out how to, to shred the, the plastic lining from inside a paper cup mm -hmm. and then reuse the paper and they make sketch pa yeah so sketchbooks out of it we've got some um thin starter sketchbooks of them but we haven't got any of the 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 big heavier multi-page one i will show you what that one looks like now i've got a textured board underneath so um that's what's causing my texture but that's fine oh and i've got a customer 
See, I'm going to have to do live feeds more often because as soon as I do one, I get customers. If I don't have a live feed, I could be sitting here twiddling my thumbs. Yes. Right, I will nip down and have a look. So I am going to go. Don't worry. The video has not paused. I will be going, but I will be returning. And I'm just going to do the edges because the middle of this is darker. So we're back in, hopefully, two or three minutes. So I do apologise. That's just made that picture you've made up, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything or anything. No, no, no. Um, it's just a just a rough idea, but you can find loads of similar images on on royalty free searches and that kind of thing. I'm back. back. Hello. Did you sell yeah, I did. So <laughs> two things. Actually, having a slightly textured board underneath does help give texture um, to what it is. So you you could give yourself an extra bit of a sort of starter to um, to what you're doing by giving yourself this texture underneath. I'm back. I try not to be too long with customers. Sometimes they need help, but if they are happy browsing, I'm happy leaving them there. Um, so I can come back to you lot. Most people are very understanding when I'm doing these kind of things. So I'll put a few veins on. Don't want it to be too veiny. 
but I mean this is even though this is a small item this leaf is I want it to be a little bit older what now my regular students oh really picking random f random languages to display top fan oh how fun I can only see it in English that's all that matters as long as I can read it I'd struggle if it was I could probably do it if it was in a bit of Welsh or French but I don't think it acknowledges Welsh <laughs> as a language um, I think I'll keep the yellow um, yeah what I was saying is most um, most people when I see them working in coloured pencil my regular students will know my phrase is go darker is I see a lot of coloured pencil pieces but they're so soft um, now whether that's fear of going darker or not really understanding the pencils as with all pencils the harder you press the darker the line that's kind of the the given um, for it I, do want to do, I will put a little bit on the acorn it's a little bit lighter now annoyingly and it is annoying but I've done it so you could see the um, I've used pencil to draw around you know to draw my design but what happens is that the pencil blends in with the crayons so I will pick up grey and it can make my yellows dirty because of what this is it doesn't really matter so much I'm trying to have I've not got my point down I've got my pencil on its edge why is that being bleached out all of a sudden is that better let's build up my layers build me up buttercup don't ruin my art it's not a buttercup it's an acorn So I'm just laying over, overlaying. Now if you notice with my colouring I'm doing small oval or circular motions. Um, if I want something to be a directional shading I will go in the direction of it um, but often I will do small ovals. Now really I could do with, um, it's a nice song isn't it Elizabeth? Um, it does. <laughs> it's not in my um, repertoire. However, if you do want to buy an album, head to bonorton.com and buy my Christmas album for £5. Free purchase and packaging to mainland UK. All the Christmas hits of yesteryear. I think I bought that last year. I think you did. I haven't done a new one. So you just have to I play it again. Yeah. Not that many Christmas songs. Mm. I'll go a little bit lighter with that. So by skimming over the top, I can build up layers. So this is the orange. Borada, should I hear? Let's go with a bit of orange. What you'll find is the same as in soft pastels. You've never got enough colours. I mean, you will you will end up with a hundred, I think. Yeah, I reckon do with a hundred you will you will you will buy all a hundred but as rosemary said little and often is the way forward well it's a cup of coffee isn't it yeah, it's, not much, is it's it? not much and they do last a long time and that's the that's the thing to remember oh this is a lovely terracotta color Acorns are a bit more stripy, it's like grainy. It's really strumming pattern. You can't hear scratching on it. It looks like it's going on in tune. It is. It is. Even though it's waxy, mm -hmm. it's not sort of too, too in your face. But yeah, you can't. Um, oh right. So you, I don't, what's going on with all these language things? I think Facebook is. Um, I think Facebook is having a bit of a, an issue, but um, 
I don't think we expect anything else nowadays, do we? But yeah, actually, I can't even hear the pencil going on. And, oh, I can now, if I go a little bit faster. I can hear it. It's already 20 past 11. Honestly, where does time go? You've got Russian as well. Stop bragging, Diane. Diana. We've got loads of languages now. I um I haven't uh, I can only see English, I'm really upset. I want to learn a new language. Because the one I was born with I'm rubbish at, so maybe I'll be better at a at a at a different skill. So I'm building up. You, you don't have to be too scared to go too hard but obviously here you can see the texture of my lumpy board because this is um, MDF that I painted white so it helps the camera not freak out as much when it's um, when I've got a dark if I've got a dark canvas or something I'm working on um, the camera sometimes gets a little bit um, Oh, you see, I'm yeah. It hasn't ended for me. Why has it ended for you? Is it is it judging your um your viewing habits? Does it think you don't like me or something, Rosemary? Hmm. But it says you're a top fan, and yet it's ended your, my live stream for you. How annoying! It's what you get for being a top fan. <laughs> yeah, that's your that's your reward. But I was watching my good friend Tom Carradine, who's the hello. You are welcome back. Um. <laughs> I, he, he grows it massively. Um, uh, he was doing a live stream on Thursday. He does a monthly live stream, a Cockney sing-along, a good old knees up. He did loads of it over lockdown while he couldn't work. Um, and he had a good couple of hundred people on there. And his, his live streams kept crashing and people going, oh, I can't see you, I can't hear you, what's going on? Um, so I think, I think it is just sadly a, a Facebook issue maybe it's growing a little bit too big yeah it's bizarre what's um but um it is um it's alexa's seventh birthday today as well by the way my alexa told me that this morning oh, happy birthday. um there's a quiz you can do if you say happy birthday to her if you've got one you can um do a little mini quiz and if you get them right you can be entered into a draw um but I, I shouldn't um I shouldn't really be promoting Amazon. Um but since I have got books available on there I can't really not. Um but you could get them from me instead. So you can see there this is the terracotta colour. You can see how it's starting to build up now and not too much noise. Do you want to go with neutral I, I, I this is called russet, but I actually prefer sanguine. Or sanguine as a as as a named. He did have said to me a few years ago about you know, drawing the colour pencil. He said, "Well, that's just a pretty thing." That's yeah. Just a, you know, what you do when you're younger, then you then you, you move on to more proper things. Proper things yeah. Um. So it's nice that you yeah you can actually. It's really, but it. you you know it's really come back. Um, I mean it's never really gone away, but uh, um coloured pencils. And in fact, in terms of drawing and art, portable art supplies have really taken off. Pre-pandemic, actually, uh, people are doing more um, marker pens and Posca markers and watercolour markers, and it's it's all stuff that you can carry. Yeah, so that you can just sort of whip it out whenever you you find something you want to do. Absolutely. Because you know, I love I love acrylics, mm. but they're not really portable. No. You know, you couldn't sit somewhere. You've got to squeeze all your paint out, mm. and by the time you've prepared for that, mm. you've you've kind of lost. Exactly. So pens, you know, water soluble pens or, or anything, have all really taken off 
just just because of its its portability you know watercolors will always have that place because you can buy the little sets and and you know or you can squeeze squeeze a bit of cardboard you know squeeze some on a bit of cardboard a day before you want to go out or something um so i'm not actually pressing down too hard on this because i don't want it um i don't want it really really dark at this point but i might i could press that just so i can show you look because of time you can see there if i do press it works now what i might mm, not yet i was going to say i could rub out my pencil lines but i'm concerned i might end up rubbing out my actual um leaf as well this is just a very quick introduction for you for um colored pencils and you could be thinking oh well i watched so and so and they don't do it like that well good for them good for them i i am facebook isn't always showing me the comments on there so i'm having to look wow. i'm having to look <sighs> the, the 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 laptop has a slower rate mm -hmm. of reading live oh, okay, yeah. than my phone well it's an old phone but it's still a faster receiver mm -hmm. than um than facebook than uh than the laptop so I've not used any um, any blender or anything yet I've um, tomorrow morning on my own art page I am sharing yesterday I shared a glimpse of um, a painting I'd started working on because I've got an exhibition in the cafe downstairs next month um, and it's finished so I'm posting the finished results tomorrow Sue you're actually in the room yeah. you've got you've got a sneak view of it it's it's yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I had fun doing that it's very me Norman. Oh, he's not in there at the moment. There, there are three other animals in there. Oh, okay. I'll just leave it. But the Norman's not in there. No, I'm, I'm debating whether to add him or not. Okay. So you can see. You, you, now, I will say, gnomes and toadstools. Um, <laughs> yes to some and not the other. <coughs> yes. The uh, blender pencils are not compulsory because you might actually want the texture. You know, you, you might feel, oh, I, I'd really rather have... Um, now, you can see there, there's a dark lump showing through because there's a dark lump under my paper. Um, what the painting that I've just finished, that I'm just talking about, Elizabeth, yeah, I will, I can do. I will share it tomorrow. I'll, I'll share it from my page to the shop page um, but you can always find Barry Whitehouse artist oh yes the guitarist <laughs> are we what are we singing today oh uh, again he needs to let go of it he's had the whole world in his hand for the past six months yeah, heavy now. <laughs> yeah it must be I think he's learned the other verse now so that's really good He's got the whole world in his hands. So this is a the 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 burnt sienna, one of my favourite colours. But I can press down harder if I want. It's not so because you might think, oh, I've I've built up a lot of layers. Can can you actually go over the top of them? Yeah, you can look. But that's why I've I've gone dark to light, 
a bit like watercolour in the sense that I'd rather it go because if I put yellow on top of that look they're not necessarily opaque they it warms the colour up but not you won't see yellow on top of it um, where's that fat leaf needs to be behind there so let's put that in front always a do you, how far do you go with something like this do you outline or do you not outline how how far do you go well I don't know I'll see how I feel there's not a traffic outside to say it's pedestrianized yeah, Oh, oh, it must be to somebody that lives mm. in town. I will show you what the blender pencil does as I well. <laughs> Everybody is waiting on knowing about the blender. That's the that's the trouble. <laughs> he comes in. Hello, Jilly. Well, I know. I think he's learning more lines, Rosemary. I think um, he's a trier, and he does bring a lot of people, a lot of smiles, on his little route down. Oh, I've got a customer again. See, I told you it sees lives. Ooh. I'll nip down. What's the time? Thirty-four. I can do this. I can do this. Right, I'll be oh, back. Sorry. Back in five. <laughs> Think of the step count. Yeah, absolutely. It means more Jaffa cakes. You must be feeling well today. I'm back. That wasn't even five minutes. No, he knew what he wanted. He got it. <laughs> Pay for it. Da da da. <laughs> Who says I'm very trite, Rosemary? Watch it, missus. Watch it. Right. <sighs> <laughs> I did actually run. It's not that I'm unfit. I I truly ran. So we're building it up. You can see there is texture there. I kind of like the texture. Mm. Hello, Wendy. You've been for your booster. You're all, are you all... Um, oh, the busker. Yes. Um, I thought you meant me. I'll be nice to you now when, I, when you're in class on Monday. Maybe. Um, have I just been using that one? No, this is the Castle Earth. Oh, this is quite nice. It's not quite black. It's a very wet earth colour. No, it's not finished. I'm still um, I'm still going, Susie. I'm still going. Mm. 
but I have to. I'm I I'm the only person on the shop floor on a Saturday, so um. I have to nip down and serve occasionally. So if you've just turned up and I'm not there, I am here. I just was temporary on temporarily unavailable. So let's show you the blender on the nut. But what you'll see, look at that. Can you see how it intensifies the colour? Really makes it punches it up a little. So it does what what will help you see is it will create shiny or smooth or texture yeah so you can decide what you want to be blended or not what it does is i mean that you you'll wear out of the blender much much sooner than you will the other um, colours uh, because of just because it was it works that way. I'm going to add a bit of purple on here um, because it's a clear wax. I, I I don't know how it works. There are some things in life I just accept. So we're not picking up the colour. So when we do um, different colours, it's not going to take the colour from there and then pass it on to somewhere else. It, not necessarily. It kind of intensifies. But if I really work over it, can you see mm. the, the wax that's coming off it? So it kind of lifts up certain colours yeah. and changes it. So let's let's do it with a leaf. So you can you see why I put the colour underneath? Mm -hmm. Having that yellow underneath, yeah, no, bringing it, up, it brings so. it out. It's like magic. It is. Hopefully you'll like this more than a lot, not a lot. <laughs> But it really does um it does depend on how much you blend and it does depend on how much pencil you have put down already i have got another customer but i'm hoping they'll be happy browsing for the next five minutes so i can finish the demo But can you see the importance of, of actually really going gung-ho with your pencil, mm -hmm. with the colour? It does really give a nice, well, richer... Like, um, erase any of your original no. Sort of gone over them. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking maybe I will... Yeah, it is a bit like the black wax crayon stuff that you do with paint at school, I suppose. You, you're really just pushing in. And what happens is it moves the colour. It shifts it slightly um, in that if you've got any areas of white paper, it pushes it into it. So it intensifies the colour that way in that, you know, you you won't get lots of white paper showing through. It is clever, isn't it? Mm. Very. Now, I want to do. Put this one over there. Mm -hmm. I'll go with that one. Um, I'll put the little notches on there. Yeah, he's got to have his little hat, hasn't he? But you can put those back on let's see if I can lightly erase some of the outline I think I'm gonna have to go back down again I'll make it up to you I won't just turn everything off at whatever o'clock there we go that's got rid of some of it so I've got more of a natural edge right I'll be back in five minutes if anybody comments have I gone somebody reply no I'll be back. <coughs> Do you know what I did when I went down earlier? I went. I was running down the stairs trying to put my mask on, and I ended up putting it on over my eyes. Not, <laughs> not to be recommended when you're running downstairs. I will be back.
back. I've got some more browsers downstairs, but I've said I'd finish in a few minutes. I'm just doing my crossword while we're downstairs. And now the book is actually gone. Now the book's gone down. A dark reddish brown pigment came up. Oh, okay. Oh, well, but, oh, well, there you go. <laughs> well, isn't that good? Um, I should have a little sign to say, you're right, Linda, a little sign to say back soon. Back soon. I, I have got a, I could set it up like I've got the, the PayPal thing, I guess, um, just so I could put a little sign on there. I want to use a bit of purple. I do like purple as a shadow. I'll work on that for the next demo, because I imagine over Christmas I will be, <laughs> hopefully... I'll be nice and um, busy. busy. So what was that purple? This is this is called violet brown. Oh, okay, it's nice, isn't it, for a shadow? Yeah, cuz you don't want anything too in your face. Mm -hmm. And I will um shadow this with my technology knowledge that I've got now I'm sure I can rustle up a back in five sign it all sounds I have really got no idea what I'm doing <laughs> a piece of card well you see I, all I need to do is click a button on because I use broadcasting software because it's very fancy um, and um, I should be able to, in theory, just click a button and that sign will overlay over the top. But, so that, but I could just have a piece of cardboard. <laughs> I could make it nice and arty, I guess. Yeah. But I did say I'm finished in five, so it's an incentive for me not to waffle too much. Right, I've already blunted this, so I'm going to quickly sharpen it. available from the yard that it is expensive um i would forget to push the button sometimes i've done that with the microphone haven't i rosemary if i've not i've come back and then i've forgotten to put the microphone on. you all know me so well um i will say if you've got the helical sharpener the manual desktop one by do and they are amazing the thing to remember is however far you pull out the holder is how long your lead will be sharpened. So only pull it out a little bit to get a sharp pencil. Um, otherwise, the rest of it will be really um, quite severe. I'll just go around. I know I went round. Um, I got rid of all of my drawing pencil lines. But we can press down a little bit harder. I'll let you know what's going up next month as well. Because I can't, I can't believe it's that it, it's November, isn't it now? Oh. November, blimey! Let's talk about Christmas now. now we can. We've had they've Mariah. they've defrosted Mariah Carey and oh, Michael okay. Bublé, so they'll be out soon. Well, hopefully you found this useful. Um, I mean, it is quite a rush to do in 45 minutes. <coughs> you know, I like to challenge myself. It's a simple 45 minutes. Um, but it's something I would spend hours and hours and hours on to try and build up. Oh, we're doing snowy fir trees in acrylics on the 4th of December. Um, so that's good. Um, coming up this week, I did do it in my roundup last week. Um, uh, yesterday that I did. Uh, Monday morning live from Waddington is a, uh, a watercolour view of Lime Park with a deer in the frost. Monday evening is a Fly Garrick toadstool in watercolours. Tuesday evening is a drawing of a dead tree in the mist. Wednesday afternoon's um, drawing class is an autumn wood with rays of light. I might do it in charcoal, I'm not sure. Um, Thursday morning Excuse is me? a poppy in watercolour. <laughs> Charcoal. Maybe. Well, let's know before I will. I, know what to bring. <laughs> I will. I can lend you some charcoal anyway. <laughs> Thursday afternoon watercolour is a, a yellow and blue macaw parrot in watercolour. Friday afternoon's watercolour is 
a view of peaceful evening over the sea and ice coastal view and then saturday morning is calligraphy club and we are doing calligraphy using an actual brush not a brush pen an actual brush in ink i might tweak this a little more but i will take a photograph of this so you can see it um in better light good thank you well hopefully you've seen it a little bit more um close up but you can see how it's it's much smoother now using that so thank you so much apologies for having to nip out a couple of times but i know you all understand what it's like trying to do um everything <laughs> i can't be omnipresent i do have to you know I know, I know you all treat me like some sort of demigod. Um, I've even started wearing my pants over my trousers. Um, but thank you so much. Good. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Roger. I look forward to seeing what you create. If you do have a go with this and you've got coloured pencils, thank you, Naomi. Um, <clears throat> do share what you do in the comments section because I really, really do love it. Oh, glad. Oh, I've impressed your husband as well, Janet. Lovely. Thank you, Julie. So take care. Have a really good weekend. If you're off out. <coughs> fireworking do be safe watch out for the hedgehogs keep your dogs and cats in and i'll see you all soon so take care everybody bye 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 oh jill do you need better pencils that's why <laughs> <laughs>